Well, hello and good day, toy fans, and welcome to another edition of Super Awesome Toys. My name is Panama Sartan, and in this episode, we'll take a look at Hasbro's Transformers Generations Legends class Swerve and Flanker. Swerve is so impulsive, man. Swerve and Flanker come packaged in a blister card that showcases both figures included. The top of the card has the Transformers Generations logo and an awesome illustration of Swerve which might be from the IDW comic, but I'm not so sure. So please correct me if I'm wrong guys. The back of the packaging has pictures of both Swerve and Flanker in both robot and vehicle modes, as well as a bio for the two of them and stats for them on the bottom of the packaging. And here we have Swerve outside of the packaging, and I gotta say that out of Cosmos and Swerve, I love Swerve the most. He looks incredible, and his vehicle mode looks awesome. As you can see, he's the same size as Cosmos, and stands about 3.5 inches tall. So to transform him into his alt mode, you're gonna start on the legs. And you can see there's a tab on this leg, and you have a groove here on the other leg. So you're gonna tap the legs together. Then you're gonna bring this whole chest and leg section out like this. And then you're going to bend the legs at the knees, and get these two tabs into this slot here. So just bend the legs and you have the back of the card all set up. Now bring the front hood down. And now for the arms. If you see, there's a tab inside the arm that will go into this group here. So just bring the arm up and into the body of the vehicle and tab it in there. Do the same for the other arm, tab it in there, and there you go. They're swerving vehicle mode. And to transform him back into robot mode is even simpler. You just start with the legs by bending them backwards, untabbing them, bring the arms down, and bring the front hood down. And there you have Swerve back into his awesome robot mode. Swerve includes Flanker, who is a cool looking jet drone. And as you can see from the bottom, he is a similar figure to Payload. Just fold the wings back and bend the jet nose back and there you have Flanker and he's only articulated at the shoulder. Also, like Payload, Flanker transforms into a weapon. So what you want to do is come here and pull the nose down, pull this whole section out and bring it up and tap it over his head. Then pull this red tab out, and there you have Flanker in weapon mode. And unlike Cosmos and Payload, you can store Flanker in weapon mode in Swerve's vehicle mode. You just tap it here on the top, and yeah, he looks completely ridiculous. But at least you can display them like this if you so desire. And also, Swerve can hold Flanker's weapon mode nicely on his hands. To transform Flanker back into robot mode, just fold the red tab down, bring this whole section down, and that's it. There's Flanker in robot mode. And if you fold down the wings and take the nose down, he's back in drone mode. 
As for the articulation on Swerve, he doesn't have a lot of it, but let's check it out anyway. His head is on a hinge, so you're only going to get up and down movement. There's no side-to-side -side articulation whatsoever. The shoulders are on ball joints, so you can move them forwards and backwards, as well as up and down. The elbows are also on ball joints, so you can move them forwards and backwards and side-to-side. -side. He has ball-jointed hips, so again, you'll get forwards and backwards, as well as side-to-side -side movement. And you have hinged knees, so you can only bend them. And that's all the articulation on Swerve. As with Cosmos, Swerve looks a lot like the G1 toy with modern touches. His red and white color scheme is very striking in robot mode, not so much in vehicle mode. In the G1 toy, his Autobot symbol was on his crotch, while this version has a symbol on his chest. His face sculpt is awesome, with a Devil May Care grin that gives him a lot of attitude. Swerve is a lot of fun, and as I said at the beginning of the review, out of the two figures in Series 1, I prefer Swerve. He looks incredible, and is totally recommended to any Transformers fan. So that's gonna wrap this episode up. If you like this review, please remember to share, rate, and subscribe. Have a good day and I'll talk to you guys later in another edition of Super Awesome Toys.